since you're almost seven years old, that was every turn of this camp. Uh, how's your offensive line coming together, do you feel? I think they're, they're fine. You know, we had to make a couple of changes here and there. Uh, you know, positionally moving tackles around, moving guards around, but, uh, and you know, offensive line is a position where there's a lot of communication going on and a lot of footwork, fundamental technique stuff. So it takes a while to catch up. So I, 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 I'm, I'm pleased with our effort right now. We just got to get a little better on some things. I know you had some guys out on Saturday. Uh -huh. Obviously Josh Jones at left tackle is in be a tackle or is he, he could be he could be he could be a tackle he could be a guard he's athletic kid he's smart uh he could handle both roles roles yes another guy we've seen move around a little bit is chance Lytle coming back from that yeah. injury what yeah. have you seen out of his versatility in his well you know Ch chance is a tough kid i'm 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 uh, i'm proud of how he you know he came back eight months ago he had a broke leg and, and now he's practicing so uh so i'm i'm pleased with uh, with what Chance is doing right now. He's moved around, right tackle, left tackle. We're just trying to find him a home right now. He's doing good and he deserves a shot. What were your expectations getting guys like uh, Max and Noah out of the portal? And thus far, what have your impressions of them been? How have they been fitting into the equation? Yeah, you know, I, I've learned a long time ago not to have any expectations <laughs> with transfers, okay? So, but uh, no, to answer your question, uh, they, they're doing good. You know, I, I, I suspected that it was going to be a work in progress. And, and it, it's turned out to be that way. You know, I got to undo some coaching and, and, and instill my coaching and, and, and what I believe. And uh, it's going to take them a little time, but, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. By, by the time we start playing, I suspect that, uh, that they'll be contributing. How about your, uh, your true freshman, Jackson and Edgar? How have they been acclimating themselves? Well, you know, Jackson, since we've had some, uh, uh, some uh, bumps and bruises. He's been contributing with the twos. You know, he's been running with the twos, and I've been pleased with him. You know, uh, uh, with him, it's it's more mental than than physical. You know, obviously, there's a lot of things that a, that a freshman at that position uh, has to learn. You know, uh, uh, contrary to belief, you know, the offensive line is more important than the quarterback. Y'all did know that, right? <laughs> and, it, and, and they got to be smarter too. You know, so. Uh, so anyway, yeah, he's he's coming along good, and Jackson is uh, getting a lot of rep with, reps with the threes. We moved him to center, and uh, you know he's he's finding out that a center for me is a quarterback. He's he's guy making all the calls, and uh, and he you know he's it's going to take him some time to to acclimate to that. Coach, I'm sorry, just clarifying. Yeah. Uh, Edgar got moved to, to center. Been running with the no, no. Or? Jackson's was running. I'm, okay. I, I hope I didn't say that wrong, but Jackson's uh, been running with okay. the. Uh, threes at center and, and Edgar's been running with the twos at left guard. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned the importance of that center spot. Yes. You saw Kari have to move to that spot last year a little bit. Yeah. Um, from my understanding, he's basically been able to stay at left guard most yeah, of the yeah. season. Yeah, yeah. If, if Kari moves to center, I'm, I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> All right. So, no, Kari, Kari's going to stay right where he's at. He's doing, he's got, he's got a good home and, and he's doing good. And I feel like we got a lot of depth at center this year. And why do you say that? Is it because he doesn't, Play center well, or you got other guys? <laughs> no, no, because of the situation that we had yeah. to move him in right before yeah. the, right before the game, two days before a game. You know that 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 wasn't asking him to to be successful and, and us. You know, so that I hope we never have to do that again. But no, in an emergency situation, he could definitely play it. He yeah. could definitely play. He actually works on it every day uh, because that's something that uh, he wants to get done and 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 uh, know how to do uh, very well for the next level. Casey, uh, Casey was out for an extended period of time. Yes. Is, is he getting back to being himself? Oh, yeah. He's been full speed uh, f and hasn't missed a beat for the last uh, two practices. So, uh, yeah, he's getting back. You know, he's got a little – knock a little rust off. Uh, but uh, as far as athletic ability, that's still there. Uh, you know, it just takes a while to get your timing back a little bit uh, uh, with your hands and your footwork and things like that. But uh, – Case, Case is a tough guy. He's very focused. He's he's realized, you know, the importance of football in his life because he hadn't had it in a year, and uh, he's he's really focused. Yes. With, with Frank being out, Jake Wiley's gotten a lot of run with the first team. What have you just seen out his progression? Oh man, I tell you, uh, Jake has has been a uh, a blessing. You know, he's he's worked his tail off this summer. I could tell. And uh, it's paying dividends right now. He's doing a very good job. You know, I tell Frank and and uh, I tell Frank all the time, hey, you know, you, you're going to battle to get your spot back because Jake's hanging on to it. So. Last quick one from Brandon. Just, yep. just real quick, I want to ask you, you 
Coach Sorrell has mentioned the depth is better in a lot of spots this year. Yes. Do you feel like it is on your, your offensive line? You know, it, it depends on how you describe depth. You know, yes, do we have bodies? Yeah. In the spring, we didn't even have bodies. Yeah. You know, uh, do we have quality uh, depth? That's that's something we're working on, okay? It, it's much better than in the spring, uh, but it's, uh, again, like I said before about something else, it's, it's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. All right, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all.